Good day, Grade Tens. In this revision lesson, we're going to be looking at states of matter and kinetic molecular theory. And we're going to look at this question, which is actually quite a long question, um, but it is a typical exam question. So let's get through it. It says, at room temperature, water is found in the liquid state, whereas oxygen and hydrogen are found as gases. Consider the following particle diagrams labeled A through to D. So here is A, and that looks like water molecules, that something's happening there. Um, this here is also water molecules, then that's B, C, there are, what are these? These are oxygen atoms, so those are oxygen atoms, and these are hydrogen atoms, so that's H2, and there is D, and this is obviously, if that's an oxygen atom, and those are two hydrogen atoms, and this is water. Okay, so now let's see what the typical questions are. It says, give the letter of the diagram that represents a mixture. So I would say that is C. C is definitely a mixture because, yeah, these are molecules, those are molecules, and those are molecules, and they're all the same thing. Whereas, yeah, we've got a mixture of oxygen molecules and hydrogen molecules. Now it says, give a letter of a diagram that represents a pure substance. A pure substance. So a pure substance is something that is only made up of that. So you could either answer A or B or D because A, B and D just have water molecules in it, there's nothing else, okay? So either A, B or D would have worked. Now it says, match the following items with changes represented by A through to F. Okay, so we want evaporation. So let's have a look at what's going on here. Do you agree that we've got oxygen molecules and hydrogen molecules and somehow they form water, okay, they go through F. Yeah, we've got water molecules here, yeah, water molecules here, yeah, and water molecules here. Yeah. And I think you can understand that this is obviously the gas form of water. This is the liquid form because the molecules are closer together, but they're not sticking in a specific structure. And this is obviously a solid form. Okay. So if we look at evaporation, evaporation is when we go from liquid to gas. So we need to be going from our liquid to a gas. So that there is letter E. Okay that there is E. Synthesis. Synthesis is making. So yeah, we are making something. So we are going from one type of thing to another type of thing. So if you look yeah, we're going from oxygen molecules and hydrogen molecules to water. So yeah, we have broken up the oxygen, hydrogen and made water. So that is synthesis, which is the making. And that's F. Freezing. Well, that's pretty easy. We're going from liquid to solid. So therefore, it has to be B. Condensation is going from gas to liquid. So we're going from gas to liquids, therefore that is D. Melting is from solid to liquid, right? Do you agree? Solid to liquid, so we're going from solid to liquids, therefore that has to be A. And decomposition is the breaking down of something, okay? So do you agree over here, we've gone from water through to oxygen and hydrogen. So C over here, we are going from water, breaking it up into oxygen and hydrogen. So therefore this answer here is C, okay? Finally, it says refer to the process represented by A to F and describe either as a physical change or a chemical change. So let's do that. We need to describe each as a physical change or a chemical change. Now physical change is when there is no change in the molecules or anything, whereas chemical change is actually a change in the molecules. So actually this is pretty easy because do you agree that over here C we've changed from water molecules into oxygen molecules and hydrogen molecules. Therefore we can say that that is definitely a chemical change. And yeah, we are going from oxygen molecules and hydrogen molecules to water, so therefore that also is a chemical change. But everywhere else, we have still got water molecules. They just are arranged differently. So therefore, A, B, D, and E are all physical change. A, B, e, D, and E are all physical, and the only chemical changes are C and F. Okay, grade tens, that's a typical exam question. Please, if you don't understand what we're doing here, if you don't understand about the physical and chemical changes, please go and learn from this section, go through those um, videos, and then go do the questions in the Two Naval System. Have a great day.